So taking a look at getting a bivvy bag can be challenging because there's that many different designs on the internet. You've got the basic one where you just climb into it. You've got the hoop bivvies. You've got the side entrances. There's all different types of bivvies. There's not many different designs, but there's different ones out there. And it can get a little bit challenging trying to pick one for yourself. I've got the three different designs. So what I will do is I'll get them out. I'll let you see it. And then you can make your mind up from there if any of them is exactly what you're looking for. Now I'm not saying I'm an expert, I've just used these three on my channel so I know the pros and cons of each one of them. Well, this is the British Army bivvy bag. Plenty of people on YouTube have used this one before. This is a very, very simple, basic bivvy. It's not a hoop bivvy, it's just a bivvy bag. Basically, a body bag. You climb yourself in it, you pull these, and you just enclose it round yourself, best you can, trap the body heat in, and then you go to sleep. Now, some people like to use these different some people are very happy to stick the air mat inside it and the sleeping bag inside it and be right nice and cozy. Some people like to have the air mat underneath the bivy bag on a ground sheet. People are very different like that. Myself, if I can get it in, because it is a very, very wide bivy bag, this one with the hood. If I can climb inside it with my air mat and stuff, I'll definitely do that. Sleeping bag case, MP, MVP, MTP polyester 100% polyester let's have a look at this one so there it is it's all laid out this is a very basic bivy bag in it this is what the British Army use like I've already said you just take your shoes off you just climb inside it and you have got your you know just see your air mat and your sleeping bag inside and this is basically all you do. You're just getting inside it, wrapping yourself up with these cords, and you're just going to sleep. This is a very basic bivy bag, but then again, a lot of people seem to recommend and do enjoy using these. Lots of room to move around in. Your face is out into the elements, maybe just your face, the front side if you pull this tight enough. But like I say, very very basic simple but effective way of bivy bag camping i've done this a lot and i do enjoy using this type of bivy bag so pros and cons of this british army bivy bag the good thing is it packs down quite small once you don't trap the air in it like that you shove it in your bag and you're gone in the morning pretty simple now it's all right for winter camping if you've got a tarp over yourself over the bag as well to stop any rain hitting you know the face area the problem with this one is summertime using this outdoors with your face showing and then if you get a bit warm you know you might release the cords what are these here so it pulls out the hood a lot more just say like this sort of idea but a lot bigger then you know mosquitoes might bite you you've got flies what might get you through the night it's all the silly things but it's true you know you might get insects crawling on you in the night coming into your bag some people don't care some people do care about this but yeah it's not really fully enclosed but it's great just like i said for getting inside throwing yourself inside it with your stuff and getting some sleep i enjoy using this one so there's a the pros and cons it's open things can clock crawl on you but it's very very fast and effective so the next one i want to show you is this one this is the Gertop double ended hooped bivy now people talk about these saying they're a lot like a one-man tent but they're really different to a one-man tent in a couple of videos down from here i will compare this to a one-man tent so if you like these sort of videos and you find them interesting do consider hitting that subscribe button to my channel 
compare videos like this and camping and stuff like that through the year but i will bring this to the channel with a one man tent and then we'll have a good look at the differences and you can see why i think they're different but like i say this is a gir top hoop bivy double sided hoops the tops has got two and the bottom's got one i'll set it up and i'll let you see it So this is the gir top double hoop bivy. You've got two hoops here and one at the bottom, I think you can see. But this bivy is a lot different. This bivy is a side entrance. So you've actually got quite a lot of room to move around. And as you can see with this bivy, you've got an inner mesh. So if it's too warm, through the nights you can just unzip the outer and then airflow can come in and cool you down whilst in the bivy protected from all creatures flies anything that you don't like landing on you this is probably good one for you plus you've got enough room for your air mat and your sleeping bag with inside of the bivy So with this type of bivy, there's pros and cons with this one as well. It's not as quick to put away like the British Army one. You've got a bit of pitching time to consider, the poles, the pegs. It's not a major thing. You're out of the elements inside this bivy. You can put another tarp over you if you want, and it gives you more room to move around in case the weather's a little bit, you know, worse for worse, like wind or rain and stuff. The biggest problem with this one is, for me, claustrophobic. When I'm inside this, I can wake up through the middle of the night panicking because I'm so enclosed in a small area like this with a British Army bivy. I don't have that issue. Because as you see me laying now, you got to think about, you're going to have your air mat and your sleeping bag, so a bit less room to move around. I guess if you leave this open, you might not feel the claustrophobic as much. So if you're the sort of person what does deal with claustrophobic and you don't like being in small areas, then this one is probably definitely not for you. Let me know in comments, do you suffer with claustrophobic or is it just me being a wimp? <laughs> what I like about this, I've already said, it's side entrance, so there's no messing around getting in and out now the next one I'm going to show you you do have to mess around getting in and out of it and it's a bit of a pain in the backside to be truthful but once again it's got its pros and cons so this pivot is the OEX Bush Pro Salamander this one I struggle to get on with even though it's really good for summertime with the really bright mornings because this one blocks a lot of the light out but like I say, I struggle to get along with it, but it's another design of bivy bags. So what I'm going to do is get it set up and I'll bring you back. So this bivy is the single poled bivy. This is lower than the gir top, so a little bit more discreet if you don't want to get caught doing a bit of stealth camping or camping somewhere where you're not really meant to be. I don't support that, but I do do it myself. I'm not gonna pretend I don't. Now this one is a front entrance bivy. This is why I do find it a bit of a pain to get in and out of. Now, one good thing about this one is once you take this little flap off, you've got an air vent there, but once you unzip it all, you can actually roll this up.
and then here you've got a massive mesh front now all that helps me with is condensation not to build up as bad a bit of airflow through but on the warm summer nights you don't really get a lot of airflow wanting to come through so it's a bit of a pain for condensation the side sleeping one the gear top you can pull that all the way around like you've seen so you get a lot of air through airflow through that one like i said this one is a bit of a pain to be getting in and out of So when you're inside this one, then you've got to mess around, move around, try to get into your sleeping bag. What I did find a bit easier is get the sleeping bag, get into the sleeping bag outside it, then lay down and slide your way in. So the pros and cons of this bivvy is the pros, it's low profile, it's very easy to set up, very easy to take down, a bit quicker than the Gur top, but not as quick as the British Army bivvy bag. The good things are with this sort of design is, this one blocks out all the summer morning light, so when it's dark at, uh, light at five o'clock in the morning, this blocks out all the light. I'm not sure if other brands that do this design is the same, like the Rab, Rab's got one like this. There's all different types of these bivvies, hoop bivvies. The worst thing for me with this one is claustrophobic. I panic a lot waking up through the night in this one. I feel like I've been putting my coffin and I've been lowered into the ground. And that is the truth. I'm not going to butter up saying it's the one I do like to use the best. Now, if you can work out which one I like the best from here, please do comment below. I don't know how long the video is right now, but just say, I don't know. Whichever one you think I like the best so far. Like I say, this one, like the girt top, you can take the uh, front doors off and get airflow through if necessary, but the girt top one is better for that. This one, you've only got the front. I like this one, but I, I always like to say, I always struggle with the claustrophobic inside it. I'm starting to feel a bit of a wimp here, talking about claustrophobic so much. see what I mean this design does not really work for me too much it might work for you who knows so if you've noticed this little paracord here and you're wondering what it's for I just attached this onto it myself because what this does is it just gives the baby a bit of extra tension you see what I mean right now So there we go, we've talked about and I've shown you the three most popular design bivvies what you can buy on the internet. So we've got the Gur top hoop bivvy, side entrance, not too bad. I do suffer with claustrophobic inside this one a bit. We've had the OEX Salamander, the front entrance. I suffer with claustrophobic a lot in this one and I think a lot of people can probably agree with that. They probably would as well. But like I've already said, front entrance it's a bit of a pain getting in and out you've got to get in your sleeping bag first and then get into the bivvy but it's just one of them designs and then you've got the good old British army bivvy bag so the question is which one do you like the best the gear top the OEX or the British army bivvy bag please do comment below and let me know I'm interested in seeing people's thoughts about that and if you've used one if you comment I'm going to nip to your channel, I'm going to check it out as well, just to see which one you're using and how you get along using it and what forms of shelter you use to go over your bivvy. What I mean by shelter is you can use a tarp. If you're in this British Army bivvy bag, you can set a tarp up over you just in case there's going to be overnight rain or a bit of wind and you want to be covered over. Plus, if it goes over where you're sleeping, you've got that bit of extra room to do stuff that you need to store your equipment and stuff. So I have a lot of them, which one do I like the best? Now we've got the gear top, 
big side entrance, get in and out very, very easily. You've got the outer part where you can throw over and you've got the big mesh front. So airflow can come through that if needed. The OEX one, I'm not so much enjoying that one. I don't know if it's going to gain on me over time. I will use all these on my channel over the year, next year, next year, next year, for however long I set this channel to go for. The OEX one is probably not the most favourite, so that leaves it down to the Gertop and the British Army bivy bag. Which one do I like the best? I'm going to get in the one I like the best, and then you're going to see it. So there we have it, the British Army bivy bag. Very, very easy to get into all the room. Like I say, I can use an head net over the summertime. Winter time, I can use a tarp to go over me. Lots of room inside for an air mat and a sleeping bag. And lots of room for me to be moving around in. So out of all these, this is the one I like the best. The British Army bivy bag. Fast, easy, no problems. Now, if this has helped you or you find this video interesting anyway, you can always press this here by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'll let YouTube recommend a video up there for you to watch next. Like I say, out of all these three, it's a British Army bivy bag. Very, very simple for me to get in and out of. Very easy at the end of the day. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped and I hope I'll see you next time.